Big Tractor Power is out in a western Kentucky hay field following all the machinery involved in producing small square bales of hay. This video will show a number of classic J.I. Case tractors working with a variety of hay tools, including a New Holland automatic bail wagon. We'll see the mowing process with a Case 2290 tractor and John Deere 946 MoCo, followed by a Case 1070 AgriKing tractor raking the hay with a 12-wheel Heston 3983 wheel rake that puts the alfalfa into windrows ahead of a K770 AgriKing tractor powering a New Holland BC5070 small square baler. And all those bales are picked up by a very cool machine, a New Holland 1069 automatic bale wagon. I hope that you'll enjoy seeing and hearing these machines out in the field at work and learning a little bit about what they do to produce hay. The haying process begins by mowing the alfalfa. The farm utilizes a 129 PTO horsepower Case 2290 tractor, which was manufactured by J.I. Case in Racine, Wisconsin from 1979 through 1983. The tractor is powering a 13 foot wide John Deere 946 MoCo. The mower conditioner works very much like a lawnmower utilizing whirling blades that are fitted under the rubber apron across the front of the green machine. Those blades slice through the alfalfa and then throw it up to rollers that crimp and crush the leafy material, allowing the juices to flow out and then leaving the hay in a flattened out windrow behind the machine where it will begin to dry down so it can be baled up into a nutritious feed for cattle and horses. Once the alfalfa has dried and cured in the sun for a few days, it's ready to be collected and baled into small square bales for animal feed. The farm utilizes a 108 PTO horsepower Case 1070 AgriKing tractor that was introduced by J.I. Case in 1969 and manufactured through 1978 in Racine, Wisconsin to pull a Heston 3983 wheel rake to begin the collection process. The Heston 3983 spans 24 feet, collecting two of the windrows left by the John Deere 946 MoCo and collecting them into one larger windrow to be baled. The Heston 3983 was manufactured for the Agco Corporation by H&S Manufacturing. After the hay has been raked into windrows, it's time to collect it with a small square baler. The farm uses the 56 PTO horsepower K770 AgriKing tractor to run the baler. The 770 was produced by J.I. Case from 1969 through 1972. The model on the baler in this video is an original 1969 model painted in the classic Case colors of desert tan and flambeau red. Case acquired the British tractor manufacturer David Brown in 1972 for its utility in mid-sized tractors and with the acquisition of David Brown, the 770 AgriKing was phased out. The coloring of white and orange transitioned from the David Brown purchase and that is why you see the rest of the AgriKing tractors in this video painted in white rather than desert tan. The K770 AgriKing tractor is powering a New Holland BC5070 small square baler. The baler is producing 14 by 18 bales that weigh around 70 pounds apiece. You might have noticed a chemical tank mounted on top of the New Holland BC5070 baler. That is a New Holland crop saver tank. It's filled with propionic acid and some citric acid to help preserve the hay. Hay that is belled at 15% moisture runs the risk of turning moldy or having discoloration and the propionic acid helps it remain a quality feed. As the New Holland BC5070 passed by, you might have noticed that it had a special 700,000 decal on it. And that number stands for 700,000 small square balers produced by New Holland in its hometown of New Holland, Pennsylvania in the past eight decades. New Holland really pioneered the small square baler industry 
1936, a gentleman by the name of Ed Nolt, who was a blacksmith, invented the self-tying mechanism that New Holland put into production back in 1940. The Nolt Baller really eliminated the need to collect loose hay in the field and then bring it by wagon back to the farm to be put through a hay press or for the need to have two people riding on the back of the baler to thread wire through the machine to tie the bales together. The New Holland BC 5070 is equipped with a quarter turn chute. When the 14 by 18 bale is produced, it comes out laying flat, and the quarter turn turns it on its side so that the New Holland 1069 automatic bale wagons pickup can grab that bale and put it right up into the stack that's being collected. The New Holland automatic bale wagon is a real time saver in the field. It takes out all the labor needed to pick up bales by hand. This machine will collect 160 bales at a time, and the New Holland Stack Cruiser has been in production for over 50 years. The original automatic bale wagon was built in California. It was known as the Harrow Bed and constructed on the frame of a school bus. Today, the New Holland automatic bale wagon is produced in Grand Island, Nebraska alongside the famous New Holland Twin Rotor Combine. This video features the New Holland 1069 Stack Cruiser. It was manufactured in Grand Island, Nebraska from 1977 through 1988. It featured either a diesel Perkins engine or a Ford 460 V8 gas motor rated at 240 horsepower. The New Holland 1069 Stack Cruiser will collect 160 bales from the field. It picks them up and stacks them in one big block of 160 bales, and a person's hand will never have to touch a bale during the entire process. This machine will travel up to 10 miles per hour in the field collecting the bales, and has a highway speed of 30 miles per hour. The New Holland 1069 Stack Cruiser will collect 160 bales in around 5 minutes. Typically, when the machine is full, it will head back to the farm and deposit a perfect haystack in the barn and then head straight back to the field to collect more bales. In the case of this operation, they're baling hay about 20 miles from their home farm and to save road time, they are depositing the haystack right in the field and offloading the hay from the 1069 with a 108 PTO horsepower case. 1070 Agri-King tractor equipped with a Great Bend loader and a hay grapple.
I hope that you've enjoyed this big tractor power video following the machinery and the process of producing small square bales on this western Kentucky farm. If you'd like to see more videos from Big Tractor Power, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machinery in action. As always, thank you for watching.